Well, as you just said, we're trying, and now here in video three, we're following our guy around, day in the life of our henchmen patrolling the base. Jubai, or Juby, or Jubby, or however the hell you pronounce it, probably sh there's going to be a list of comments about why I can't get the name right, and why I'm stupid. <laughs> Never-ending list of... Well, there's nothing new Never-ending list of hate comments, what we're used to that. Look at all our ex-girlfriends. <laughs> But this yeah, is we're, us we're talking we're about. We're watching the guy. I mean, I like the visual. I like for an older game. I yeah. like the yeah, style. That it's like it's cartoon. over ten years old. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good looking. Cartoony and interesting. Of course, we did find this game on GOG, which is a great resource for all the old games if you're feeling nostalgic. Yeah, goodoldgames.com. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I've done. I've done a review of like their top ten. Uh, my mm. personal favorite, top five of their games. A lot of the, I even did a review for this, as I said in previous videos. Yes. Uh, but also the link to the GOG page. GOG, amazing. And they're not expensive either. The, yeah. You get the old games. I think the most expensive game I've seen is about $10. Yeah. And they're often going on special where you can get them for $1 or $2. Which yeah. Is or, or you can buy, you know, two out of the three in the series and maybe get the third for free. Yeah. We've gotten a few freebies from them over the years as well. So you know he's going to stand right Your dog? Very 60s, he's smoking in public. Ooh. These days he'd be arrested for that. But again, dear Gog, we love you. Please give us money. <laughs> nice. That's, that, that's a good pitch. Dear, dear, mom, dear Gog, we love you. Please give us free games. Okay, I'll accept free games. You don't have to pay us. Free games will work. Yes, free games is good. He's, he's got a hell of a job just walking around. Dude. Do, 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 do. Is that number 70 on his shoulder? I can't tell. I, it could be a 90. <laughs> the crazy or it could man. be a Z. I literally cannot tell. You know, do, my do we have a camera a rotation option? I, I think we do, but not when we're on the guy. Ah, uh, okay. No, we're stuck on Sorry, it. in like a generic sort of cinematic boat. Which is cool. We're just walking around. You can see the uh, gas box above. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Nice trap. One of my favorites. They, Especially for agents, I put two uh, pads down. Yeah. So if they get over the first one, they tend to barrel roll. So they get over the okay. first pad, hit the second, barrel roll finishes, they stand up, gas trap, and they're gassed in a little chamber. Nice. So they end up like killing themselves by barrel rolling into the trap and triggering it at the same time. Fancy. Problem, of course, when your men start getting stupid and then, you know, one of them trips over the trigger and you end up killing half your own people. I mean, I've had moments where I've killed half my men in a corridor because someone tripped and pushed the wrong button. I believe that's called natural selection. <sighs> natural selection when there's nothing happening, yes. Not natural selection when you're under attack by enemy forces, rally your men and half of them are dead before they get there because they've blown themselves up in a corridor. We're a threat to the world, but badly. Yes. See, standing around smoking again. We will dominate with our incompetence. Oh, well, the world's stuffed then, isn't it? <laughs> No one is as incompetent as us. We take stupid to a whole new level. So you got why, 10 million so Why far. be stupid when you can be stupid with experience? It's not stupid. It's advanced. <laughs> it's a speciality. That's about right. We trained years to get this level of stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, what, nearly three decades worth of skill. Well, I'm a little bit short of that, at least. You're, you're the really? old one. <laughs> Don't remind the raging ravens the old one. He's thirty one. <laughs> I'm only thirty one. Well, I'm not even thirty one yet. But by the time we get these damn videos out and probably and the way we're moving, we'll probably be like forty three. We, we we shall be the world's oldest YouTubers. <laughs> no, I've actually seen a thing of the world's oldest YouTubers. They're probably dead now. <laughs> but they they were in their eighties and carry on. It was great fun. Nice to see old people just having a laugh and not giving a shit. That's you're, the on the verge of, you're on the verge of death. Screw you may as well go out with a bang. Yeah, go out with cunnilingus, exactly. That works. Exactly. So, do, 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 do. So, how, no wonder this guy gets really enthusiastic when chopping off heads. Yes, He's got a very boring job, just walk around. The bigger your base, of course, the further he walks. Yes, well. Welcome to Rebellion, boys, and welcome back to walking around the empty room simulator. That could actually be a really cool simulator. Well, there's a simulator for bloody everything else. <sighs> oh, bloody sinuses as usual. It's the heat of Africa. It's incredibly warm tonight. 
Well, the Americans are complaining about the cold. We oh. can balance each other out. Oh, I, I have seen the whole the whole uh, northeast coast, New England, and all that. It looks bloody horrible. Uh, I, we've got a couple of friends up that side, and yet our our other friends in California are standing there giving New England another finger and laughing at them. As yeah. California would. As yeah, they all, all all our friends in San Francisco are sitting on a beach, drinking martinis, <laughs> watching people in watching people in New England freeze. And watching people in Canada walk around going, what's the difference, eh? <laughs> it's exactly the same <laughs> yes. as any other day. Meanwhile, we're sitting in a small that's my, little That's room. my bad Canadian, by the way. A in a boot. None of our Canadians say A in a boot. It's very sad. Well, None it's only the one area that actually yeah, has and that accent. Yeah, we have no friends from there, and I have no relatives from there either that says A in a boot. You see, he, he does this uh, speaking. He speaks the passcode so the bombs and things don't go off. Ah, okay. When they lose their minds, they forget there's a passcode they run through and then the bombs And then they wipe out of our army. Yes, well, it's been thrilling stuff, jubby, jubby. So let us spend... There we go. This is the most thrilling video ever. Case Collecting Simulator. Oh my god, so kawaii! I actually, well that really is. Come on, there we go, we'll watch this guy. So you literally can follow any of your characters around. Yeah, Ralph Davies is now running. That's his uh, stats on the side here. I see. It's your health. Uh, it's your loyalty. That goes, they abandon their positions and run away. Wankers. You're yes. smart. Problem is, when they abandon their position, the doors no longer function for them. So I've tried to be intelligent in the past. Yes. <laughs> and lock, like seal the doors so they can't escape. But then they run through the door, it opens, they run through, it closes, and then your own men run up to the door and they can't get out because they, <laughs> they're no longer allowed out that door. <laughs> okay, so that kind of backfires. It's horribly. It's their intelligence, or their well, smarts, as they call it, intelligence. Um, yeah. Attention. So, yeah, if their smarts is down, they you know, trip over their own bombs. If like they're, me. Uh, yeah, if their attention's down, then they stand there while James Bond and friends walk past. I see. And then, of course, their uh, endurance is how much fighting and stuff they can do. You can also imprison and kill and do that to your own men as well. So, for and instance, it tells you exactly what they're doing at so that time. maybe you see a guy's loyalty is getting quite low, you can take him out before he becomes a problem. Essentially, but, you know, when you've got over a hundred minions, it does get a bit tricky keeping track well, of You're clearly not a very good dictator. I'm a fantastic dictator. That's why I tend to kill them by by lump. Well, that's how the dictator... I, I commit 90% of my forces to off-island well, activity. two of them would have to betray you. It's just being safe. Exactly. I commit most of my forces to off-island work. International sabotage and stuff. So he's building beds. So at the moment, you can see our capacity is now for 52 minutes. So as the beds come in, the staff are coming in. Basically. Yeah, the beds and the lockers come in, and that increases your population cap, essentially. And your base do, the, cap. do the workers just slowly filter in? Yeah, well, as I said, there's one every 60 seconds. It's default at oh, zero dollars. Yes. Or you can pay four grand for the max, and it's one a second. Yeah, but then we lose money. Yeah. And we're Scots. Yeah, well, you're Scots and I'm a quarter Scottish, so we, d we don't like spending money. That's, what, that's why I'm skimpy. That's why we haven't got any traps in this half of the corridor. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Next thing you know, these men all want guns. <laughs> Defend the building. What are you, mad? <laughs> here's, here's a large black pudding. Get out there, lads. Sort those phone buggers out. Go adventure into the long tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Battle of Ecky Thump. Here we go. Uh, we've got a fire hydrant in our long tunnel. We can do some 360 action. Well, terrible. MLG thing. Pro 360 no scope. <laughs> because this is YouTube and we have to say that by law or something. Oh, more than likely. Well, everything's no scope. You know. Actually, that, that sp specific friend of ours who, <laughs> who got his uh, wife pregnant, I actually asked him, was it 360 no scope? <laughs> I, th I, think <laughs> I think Raging Raven almost shat himself at that point. <laughs> Couldn't stop laughing at it. Uh, Know some odd I, people. As I said to them, you know, you know what a pregnancy is. It's when two people who love each other create a welfare check. <laughs> oh, well, now we've really pissed off people. Of course, of course.